Rana sent us our first question of uh, uh, tonight. She says, is yoga permissible? Now, yoga is something that some people consider it as a philosophy, others consider it as part of a religion, and some look at it as merely exercise. And if you go to the origin of this yoga, you will find that it originated from the Hindus and adopted by the Buddhists. And they considered it as translated into their native language to be a union. And they claim that they, through these practices, connect with the universal soul, with the Supreme Spirit. So they say that this is a union between the body, the heart, and the spiritual uh, uh, and the universal spirit. When, and they refer to that to Allah Azza wa Jal, may Allah be exalted uh, through this. And some Muslims prohibited it totally, and others said that it is completely permissible. And others looked at it as a form of exercise. If you look deep into it, you cannot miss the religious origin of it, where it praises the sun and tells you to face it when it rises and sets, and you repeat its 12 names through a number of repetition, claiming that brings you focus and concentration. By sitting idle, doing nothing, claiming that you're meditating, by prostrating on your eight parts of the body in poses like animals. If you look at all of this and the concept behind it, you will reach the conclusion without any doubt that this is prohibited. First of all, because it goes against the aqidah of Tawheed. The issue of uniting with Allah Azza wa Jal. The issue of being as one with the universe, etc. All of this is contradictory to Islam and its teachings. The worship of the sun. And if you are unable to concentrate on the sun, and this would definitely harm your eyesight, then you may draw the sun on your wall if you're doing it indoors. The recommendation of being uh, um, sort of exposing your chest, back, and thighs. And, and, and the more you make it exposed, the better. Plus, there's so many things related to it. And even there are more dangerous concepts than that of making all religions correct. And this not only kills Islam, it kills all other religions. Because whether you're Christian, a Buddhist, um, a Hindu, a Sikh, uh, a Jew, you're all right. And this is illogical. Not a single religion says that you can embrace any religion you want. Each and every religion tells you that my religion is the only religion accepted. Otherwise, it's foolish to accept their religion as a religion if it is something for everyone to take or leave. Therefore, the fatwa is that practicing yoga is not permissible. It is harmful for the body. Not everyone can do these stretches. It can cause injuries. Of course, despite the numerous uh, problems in Aqidah related to it, that goes against monotheism, against Tawheed, against the religion of Islam. One may, may claim and say, okay, the, we don't believe in any of that. We just adopt the exercises. The answer would be 
the Prophet said وَمَنْ تَشَبَّهَ بِقَوْمٍ فَهُوْ مِنْهُمْ Whoever imitates a people, he would be part of them, among them, with them. So you can take any kind of sports that is halal with no problem. You want to, to do aerobics, no problem. You want to exercise cardios, you want to go to the gym, you want to uh, uh, do weightlifting, bodybuilding. All of this is okay. You want to pick up squash, tennis, badminton, no problem. But when it comes to such exercises that are related to such a religion, this becomes prohibited and Allah Azza wa knows best.